Hey everyone, welcome back to the Long Dark. We're here in the Cardo Hydro Dam, starting episode number five. There's a grand sign right there. Um, so we're in Mystery Lake. Last episode, we worked our way here from the Mystery Lake camp office. Um, nothing too special. We were kind of in hopes of finding some food, which we did. Found a little bit, but it's nowhere near enough to sustain us for the long term. So um, as it goes in Dead Man, we got to keep traveling. So that's what we're going to do this episode. Going to hope to punch into Ravine. Um, maybe see what's up there. Actually, this is a really good time to start a fire. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're approaching evening here. So obviously evening is the time you want to travel in the long dark. Uh, very warm. The warmest time of day. So let's go ahead and start a fire. We'll go ahead and get our teas on the uh, on the fire. Warm them up here. Um, yeah, and ultimately we're just headed for a ravine. Um, there could be a deer carcass in ravine waiting for us. Whoops, that's a little unlucky to start the episode. Uh, but the, hey, that's why we start a torch, right? Why we laid a torch, we can get more uh, more fire starting chances that way. But as I was saying, um, we're going to go into Ravine, see what we can do. I think we're going to try to stop at some of the caves. Um, ravine's a little risky, though. You know, Ravine, ravine can be a little risky. Um, there's a pretty severe lack of beds in Ravine, you know? So if you get tired, you know... <laughs> It could be bad if you get tired, you know. It could be it could be a pretty bad experience. So we're gonna go in with that mindset. Um, we're gonna want to make it through Ravine, um, most definitely. Let's go ahead and put our teas down. Put both of them. We got antibiotics, so I don't mind using the reishi tea. Um, but yeah, we gotta keep that in mind. We have to make it across Ravine. There's no other option for us. You know, it's either we we roll into the trailer late tonight or we don't make it out. It's going to be a little stressful, but we have to do it. We have a plenty upon plenty of coffees for us. Let's go ahead and just make another one. Um, yeah, let's make another coffee here. I'll take the lowest condition. Yeah. So, you know, we've got plenty of room to work with here. Go ahead and just do that. Um, we're going to want to move here shortly just before. Uh... Oh, whoops. Didn't even take that. All right. Yeah. So we're going to want to move shortly. While the weather's nice, nice and warm. Go ahead and take as many torches as we can. Yeah, and while the weather's still calm like this, too. Uh, we definitely going to want to move. So let's go ahead and do that. Come on. Let's get the 10-minute torch here. Ah, I didn't make it. That's fine. Throw a stick on. We're going to find so many sticks there in Ravine. Okay. Um, let's head off. Do we have our pelts and stuff? Uh, we don't have our pelts. Let's go ahead and grab those. I think I left them in here. Would that be correct? Hmm, I didn't leave them in here. Then where did I leave them? Maybe I left them in the trailer. Um, we'll go ahead and take a peek, if I did. Um, so if I didn't, you know, what's going to happen, right? If I didn't leave the belts in the trailer, what are we going to do? And I think what we're going to do is just move on without them. Uh, it's unfortunate. But we don't really have time to be wasting <laughs> to backtrack and look for them, you know? As unfortunate as it is, it, it's the sad truth. So we're going to want to just push on. Um, it is what it is, right? I mean, pelts and, and you know, the birch uh, saplings, they can all be found elsewhere. There's not really a... I mean, there is an incentive to keep them, but it's not the end of the world if we forget them, right? So. All right. Doesn't look like there's a wolf here. Go ahead and head in here. Wasting a little time, but it's fine. Oh, here they are. Okay, great. Okay. All right. Um, let's push on. Let us push on. It doesn't really look like the the nicest time to to be traveling, but uh, is this gonna go to Blizzard? It, it looks very, very reminiscent to a Blizzard. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet we're about to transition to Blizzard here. Um, if I can make it to one of the caves in Ravine, that would be cool. That would be splendid, actually. Where's the transition? Is it around here? Okay. Go ahead and see what the weather's like in Ravine. Alright, it's a little more tranquil. Um, we'll keep going until we, we can't anymore. Um, Alright. Those are still fresh. Those need to be cured immediately. Or as soon as possible, anyway. Yeah, we're not looking good on food, guys. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Let's go ahead and drink... I'm going to drink a coffee, just because I really don't know what we're going to be encountering here. 
Um, we could be in this region for a while, more than I'd like to be anyway. So, um, so normally I would stop for maybe a deer carcass. Um, that would give us a really, really big edge on the food, but the weather doesn't really look like it's going to cooperate with us right now. So that's a little unfortunate. What we might do maybe is just go ahead and look for cattails. Quick cattails we can pocket. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm not seeing any right there, so. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take these. We do have a lot, you know. <laughs> we should really be prioritizing maple saplings, most definitely. But, you know, I'm not going to pass up birch saplings. Definitely a, uh, a hot ticket. Hot item in Dead Man. Yeah, this is not really traveling weather, you know. It's unfortunate because it's falling right when we need to travel. Right when the day's warmest. Of course, of course. Um, all right. Well, we have to roll with it, right? You have to roll with the punches. I think it's calming a little bit, but it would be better. If there's a deer here, I'd be really tempted to take it. I have a feeling there's going to be. Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, yeah, why don't we push our, our welcome here a little bit and go ahead and harvest this deer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep the fire going. Uh, I'm not going to do a, a book. Uh, yes, I am, actually. I was hesitant. Maybe we could just use a stick because we have a torch going, but, you know. There's not really going to be many books from here to uh, where we're going, which is Desolation Point. So, might as well just hold on to it in case of an emergency. But, I don't know. We used it anyway. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and put... I'm going to put a cedar on that. I'm going to go ahead and use the hacksaw. That's only 10 minutes. In theory, the weather shouldn't change too much. All right, cool. Um, it does look very blizzardy. So we're going to want to deal with that when that happens. Switch that to wait. There we go. Um, all right, make a little water. And then let's put down some more of our teas. Uh, that should be fine. Maybe I'll just throw that down anyway. Okay, great. While that's cooking, let's go ahead and eat a cattail just so we don't risk losing our uh, our food bonus and taking hunger damage, because that would be no good. I thought I put some water in that. There we go. Alright, so while that's cooking, let's go ahead. Um, we can harvest that torch down. Go ahead and just see what's in here. Sometimes just some firewood. Oh, I was right. And there's a mountaineering rope. That's not going to be pretty useful to us, unfortunately. But, you know, if we ever wanted to go to Bleak Inlet, that is really good to know that there's a rope right here. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We want to push to the other cave, though. That's definitely something I want to do. And taking the deer hide, too, would be a, a good move. But, unfortunately, we don't have that time. Uh, 30 minutes to do that. Yeah, I guess we could... Maybe have the time if we started a little while ago, but I'm not going to uh, try to do that now. All right, awesome. That's a nice piece of meat right there. That was really good. Awesome. That got us up a good ways. So the wind is blowing, unfortunately. Wind is blowing. Hopefully it's, you know, able to keep a torch sustained, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah. All right. Well, now is the time where you're thankful you made teas, huh? I gotta say, you know, teas are the, the saving grace in this game. Most definitely. Without a doubt. Because cold is ultimately your your main enemy um, early game. It's gonna be the cold. So, we're gonna try to stay windshaded here as long as we can. Um, you know, that way we don't lose our temperature as fast. I think I'm gonna take a... Oh, things I do for a stick, right? I think we're gonna go ahead and probably pause at the cave. I'm pretty sure this cave has a bed. I don't know though. If it doesn't, not a huge deal. We can always just head over to um, the trailer close to the highway. That might have to be our backup option. Oh, I wish I could grab the bunnies here. I really, really, really wish we could. Um, yikes, I'm going to regret this, huh? I'm going to absolutely regret this, but we have to do it. We've got to. Hi, bunny. Oh, what a shot. Got it off the rebound. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drink a. Come on now, come on now, no, 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 no. There we go. Um, normally, I would drop the rabbit while doing this stuff, but it seems like I'm. I know this for a fact, but Ravine doesn't have any wildlife um, that's hostile, so no one's going to be following us or trying to, to eat the rabbit off of us, so we're good. We'll keep it on us for now. We're going to want to drop it, though, immediately once we enter Coastal Highway. Oh my gosh, another deer. Yikes. Uh, it's so tempting, I, I tell you. It's so tempting. But unfortunately, we're just going to have to pass, I think, right? Yeah. yeah well, let's not get distracted here. We got to go. All right, so we're looking good on temperature. We will no doubt make it to the cave. Um, I would say my main worry is just trying to make it to Coastal Highway or at least somewhere where there's a bed. Um, it's not really fun trying to sleep in a cave without a bedroll, but you know, <laughs> if there's a little leaf bed, we'll, we'll take it, right? That's why I'm picking up all the firewood right now in case there is that off chance of a, uh, of a cave bed. I'm not sure if there's one in this cave, We'll have to see. If there is, then the uh, the need for moving is kind of relaxed, you know? It's not as dire to get out of here as it would be, you know, if there's no bed. All right. Up hiding in the tall grass, rabbit. Ah, I missed it. Missed it. Unfortunate. Yeah, the thing in Deadman is missing rabbits really hurts. You know what I mean? It It's tough. Trying to get the rabbit again is like a whole another process, of course. All right, I'm sorry, Rabbit. Come back. Come back. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Stop running. Oh, my gosh. Dude's trying to run a uh, 5K. Okay. All right. You know what? Maybe maybe it just wasn't meant to be. I think that's what it was. Let's, let's just accept it. Keep moving on here. There's another Rabbit, though, so maybe we can redeem ourselves. Go ahead and try. Oof. Nasty headwind. I'm going to wait for this rabbit to get a little closer. Let's harvest some of these. It's really not bad outside. So what I'm really thinking of doing is using a coffee and maybe pushing the coastal highway just because we can, you know. Come on, rabbit. Where are you at? Don't play games. He got away in the tall grass, didn't he? Oh, he's right there. Nice. That's two rabbits right there. Thank you. All right. So we have these rabbits now, right? What do we do with them? Well, the logical answer would be to cook them. I think that's what we're going to do. Nice, some food. I'm at the point right now where if, if it's any condition, I'm just going to eat it anyway, I think, if it comes down to it. Okay, so there's no bed in here either. So that's a little unfortunate. That's a little unfortunate. Um, This is a really big risk. This is a really big risk, what we're about to do. But let's go ahead and do it. Um, where's this kind of boundary here between... Okay, let's put the fire right here. We get a little bit longer lasting of a fire. I'm going to go ahead and start it with the cedar wood. But we're going to harvest these rabbits, cook them, and hopefully when we're done with all of this, it'll be just after sunset. So what we can do is just head into Coastal Highway and try to find a bed. Um, that's really what's going to have to happen. It's too late to go back to Mystery Lake, I would say. I'll uh, just throw that out of here. Don't need it. Uh, 55 on the fire, that's fine. 18 minutes. Alright. I should probably put the tees down. Um, I think I'm actually going to put the tees down. Go ahead and just... Uh, those down. These two. These here. I'm really willing to say that we have enough firewood to get through the night if we have to. If we have to. But, you know. <laughs> if we have to is different than if we want to, right? Let's go ahead and just put that down anyway. Do we have a coffee on us? I'm pretty sure we did. Yes, we did. Let's put it down. Probably going to be using it. All right. Let's harvest the other rabbit. All right, that's an hour and 14 there. 14 minutes there. That's perfect. I'm not going to harvest the pelts. We just don't have time, unfortunately. But we're nice and warm now. That's good. And it looks like the weather's holding for us. That's awesome. Go ahead and grab that. All right, cool. We'll put that back on there. Um, I'm even going to cook the peaches. I think I'm going to cook them. Why not, right? Can act as a buff. 
is a uh, is a warming tea. Awesome. All right, there's a little bit of a lull. I, I never really like the lulls because sometimes it can signify a upcoming blizzard. What it tends to to do anyway. Okay. All right, 24 there, nine there. Let's fast forward that. Um, okay, those peaches are still 26 percent. I'll keep them by the fire, but I don't know if I want to eat them. Way too low for me. Take that. 12 minutes there. Okay. That's a good torch right there. Okay, great. We'll grab that. Go ahead and eat that. Nice. So we're rabbitless going into Coastal Highway. That's good. We're not going to be attracting anyone. Go ahead and take everything else and uh, let us go. Nice, guys. Look at this. Calm weather. Awesome. To what you really like to see. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to drink a coffee, though, once we get a little colder. I don't really want my tiredness to, uh, to go out. I think we're just going to take the coffee and, uh, and roll with it. I'm going to pick up some sticks. You never really know when you're going to need them. What are we looking at? 75? Okay. That's fine. Let's just keep the pace going because I don't want to be caught in a blizzard. If we're caught in a blizzard, I at least want to be in Coastal Highway, right? I don't want to be in Ravine still, because there's really not a ton of places you can hide. At least in Coastal Highway, you can kind of snuggle up next to the mountainside um, while heading to Rabbit Grove, which is on the right side. So you enter Coastal Highway from here, and you go down the right side, and uh, that's where Rabbit Grove is. So I'm going to go ahead and drink the coffee right now. It'll give us a little bit more speed, since we'll be less encumbered, or since we'll be less, uh, less tired, rather. Yeah, you know, I mean, trekking across ravine when you're tired is not something you can do without coffees, you know what I mean? Um, it's a near impossible task. Let's go ahead and keep the eye on the prize, though. I don't think I'll pick up more sticks. I think we have plenty. But yeah, ultimate goal, I think, is going to be Rabbit Grove. Rabbit Grove, rather. We'll see uh, how we do. Toss the torch. Go ahead and select a new one. We still have the old torch on us. I think I'm going to dump it just for weight reasons. Go ahead and dump it. I'm sure we'll be back in this direction at some point. Hopefully. Hopefully we live that long, right? Alright, nice and warm in here. 24 degrees. Alright. Yeah, I mean, warmest time of day. This is when you want to travel, right? Definitely when you, you want to pack the miles in. Anything later than this, though, it does start to get cold. You can see we're already two down. Um, a little unfortunate, but what can you do? Where's the warm side of the of the cave? I guess it's this side. Gonna want to stick to it as long as possible. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. It's it's a promising future. It is, at least a promising short future <laughs> short term anyway yeah this is a uh, intense intense this could change at any moment you know the game doesn't like us boom you know for the shadow realm we go right but no it's definitely a uh, an interesting place to be for sure um okay calm weather i'm liking it the trestle not really a fan of it but <laughs> let's be sure to pay attention here huh I'm not gonna throw the torch on this. I'm gonna, I think, drop it. But we'll go ahead and uh, and do that now. I think while I'm out here, let's just do a little bit of, a little bit of that. That's pretty cool. I like that. But what with the pot right now? Come on, now. Not quite. It's not quite a torch, right? All right. Let's continue. While I'm talking, let's uh, be mindful to watch this. Actually, I won't even talk right now. Let me focus on this. Um, usually when I'm talking is when I get distracted. I've never fallen off this trestle before. I have never, and I don't want this to be the first time. Let's go ahead, just take it a little easy. Awesome, success. We live to see another few minutes, I'm sure. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so, yeah, once we get into Coastal Highway, we want to book it to the right. And we'll follow the, the short river there. Is this still... No, 
it's not. So if we want to get warm, we're going to have to start another fire. All right, that's fine. That's okay. I thought that was a deer carcass. I don't know why. That looks like a deer carcass to me. Alas, it is not. But yes, I think we are going to... Okay, we have one rock. Let's grab a few more. We're going to go to Rabbit Grove. I know I've been planning this out, out loud, but yeah, we're going to go to Rabbit Grove, basically. All right. Nothing in the old inventory. We're looking good. All right, it should be right over here at the, the turn. I'm going to stop for some cattails. It, it seems a little crazy, but, you know, I'm not going to pass them up. We're at a little less than a quarter energy. I think that's plenty to make it to where we need to be. Let's go ahead and capitalize on it. Walk down here. Let's reset that sprain risk before we get one. Very nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. Part of me is just tempted just to go for it, right? Like, don't even bother with the cattails. You'll find more later. Um, yeah, I think that's the right move. I think we're just gonna try to get going here. Ooh, a cattail. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and drop this. I'm not going to throw it because that makes a little noise. I don't know what's around here. I apologize for my fast talking too. Usually when I'm when I'm stressed, I, I talk fast. So if I'm talking fast, I'm stressed. <laughs> um, I don't know what wolves are around here. I've been barked here before. A wolf has noticed me here, so we're going to take it easy. Bring out the old walk. The old funny walk. All right, we have half temperature. We're looking good. We're looking good. We just got to take our time and, and uh, focus here. Fatigue reduced. That's okay. That's all right. Um, I think I'm just going to walk it regardless of who's behind me. But yeah, we should be okay. Rabbit Grove is right up here. It's a little hut in the, basically in the middle of nowhere. Um, there are some rabbits out front that could be worth getting. Could be. Could be worth getting. And we have plenty of cattails, too. I think I might just skip out on the rabbits, to be honest. Um, and maybe we'll just... Um, maybe we'll just go off cattails tonight. I think that could be a, a smart idea. How many cattails do we have? 20? Mm. I mean, it's not nothing. I'm going to take a few extra calories here just to search around. Yeah, we got a few more cattails here. It's going to be worth it. All right, we'll be okay. We have, um, we've got plenty of temperature and it's right up here. All right, let's take it in. There's our beloved house in the woods, huh? Awesome, you love to see it, you really do. Not a lot of rose hips here. That's not really what you love to see, but that's what we'll take. All right, oh my gosh. Uh, this house should be warm. Yeah, 37. So, 5 degrees above the freezing mark. That's good. Um, alright. Fishing cabin. Cool. We'll take a little bit of time to search this. Not much, because there's <laughs> not much here. I doubt we'll find anything useful. Um, but yeah, we're gonna want to get to bed pretty soon, though. I'm gonna drop all the pelts and such. That way they can cure overnight. I'm gonna drop them at the door so we don't leave them. Uh, let's see where they are. Right here. Drop them all. Great. Awesome. Um, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and throw that away, because we don't really need it now. Um, we'll drink up on some water, and we'll put in some sleep. Some well-deserved sleep at that. Um, I'm gonna do just an hour. I don't really know what this cabin's like. <laughs> I don't want to sleep, and then the temperature adjusts to, like, 30, you know? A nice aurora going, though. My gosh. Uh, let's go ahead and peek outside. Oh, guys, look at that. Wow. Isn't that pretty? It's definitely cold, that's for sure. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Let me go ahead and just uh, do a little one of those. That's awesome. Super cool. All right. Out oh, here is no place for us, though. Um, oh, we do have a memory. New buffer memory. Interesting. What's it say? Caught sight of another giant trawler today. 
Yeah, trawler today. Maybe 10 miles off. Definitely American, but couldn't tell you it's home port. I bet they're busier than I am. That's pretty sick. That's pretty cool. Can you not take a... Yeah, I guess you can't take a screenshot like that. Anyway. Irrelevant to our current missions. Let's go ahead. Put in two hours. Yeah, that, that Aurora sure makes cool sounds, I gotta say. Definitely cool. That's awesome, man. You love to see that. It's so cool. That's so cool. I swear, it, it, you know, different mechanics of this game are just so cool. And you've got so many of them too, right? It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Do one more. Awesome. Super cool. All right, enough of uh, pictures for, for this one. I think uh, I think we're good. I'm a sucker for, for good pictures, I tell you. Whether we're in Stalker, on Pilgrim, or suffering in Dead Man, I'll still find a way to take a picture. I love it. I love it. It's so cool. Right, we'll put in three. Get a little risky with it. Now, this is a really good, I think, place to be because we are going to be sleeping through a good portion of the day. Yeah, you can see we're only at three-quarter energy and the sun's coming up. So that's good. That's a good place to be. We're going to want to sleep through most of this morning because, as you know, mornings are the coldest time of day. So, I want to do that. All right. Um, yeah, we could take that. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and drink some of that. Awesome. Yeah, it's cold. Negative 27. Yikes. All right. Well, um, go around here to think a little bit. Yeah, well, we could make it for the fishing huts, and I think that's what I want to do, because we have to look for the heavy hammer. Um, it's going to be really important to find. We need to find a heavy hammer. There's no way around it, you know what I mean? It's, we don't, we don't find it here, we don't find it anywhere, so. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, those rabbits down the, down the way are looking pretty nice. I would like to definitely take, take them. Let's go ahead and maybe uh, make our presence known. We're at half temperature. I think we can get at least one if we get lucky. Let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. Ooh, can we get the other one, though? That's the question. Let's go for it. Is it back here? It's not back here. Okay, we're not going to go for it. One rabbit is not worth a point of condition, I have to say. Let's go. Alright, we're good. Get back in here. Yikes. That's that's cold. That is cold. Um, alright, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just breaking that down. Um, we could honestly put in maybe an hour to warm up a little faster. But I think we're gonna wanna get outside and ultimately start cooking our our rabbit and making some teas and stuff like that, so. Yeah, that's going to be a plan for sure. Let's go ahead and harvest what we have, though, in here. Awesome. It might be a blizzard outside. That might be what I'm hearing. But we'll have to see. All right, that's good. Um, let's go ahead and drop that. Put that right there. Um, all right, how does everything else look? All right, let's just look outside first. I think that's most important. We can get good weather conditions. Oh, nice. Wow, that's a, uh, that's some good weather conditions, if I do say so myself. As being an atmospheric science major, um, <laughs> I can tell you that clear skies are often good. Although clear skies can often be the coldest, too. You know, there's no clouds to trap in the heat. Um, a lot of you probably didn't know, but clouds do act like a blanket um, when it's, you know, cold. So it retains the heat. If it were clear skies, like it could be in the morning, um, then all the heat that you build up through the night is just going to get released out into uh, the space, technically. So, um, yeah, clouds act like a blanket, which is pretty cool. That's why, uh, oh, come on. That's why in the long dark, a lot of people like foggy conditions because foggy is naturally warmer, right? You're not going to have wind. Um, you're not going to have that colder air from clearer skies. So, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, but obviously fog later in the day is the most ideal 
conditions, basically. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, what is that? Fire starting two. Awesome. Very nice. Um, we're going to do that, and I think I'm going to put in a coal as well. It might seem a little crazy, but you got to use your coal at some point. All right. Yeah, that should get us pretty, pretty nicely warmed. Um, we'll do that for 30 minutes. We'll do this for, what is it, two minutes. Fast forward that, eat that. Um, I think for 15 minutes, what we might do is go ahead and do a little bit of water. That should be, be pretty good. We'll harvest that for a stick. Yeah, look at look at how fast we're warming up, guys. That's awesome. Could have honestly just probably gotten away with the coal, and that's it, but that's okay. Um, rose hips. Let's make one batch for 15 minutes. I'm going to want to go down and see if other rabbit is in town. That would be pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Okay, four minutes till boiled. That's fine. Um, okay. Some of that. Uh, six minutes. I'll go ahead and leave two of the buffs here. The teas. If I ever say buffs, that's what I mean. I refer to teas. Buffs and teas, they're the same thing to me. Alright, let's go down the hill. See if we can get any other rabbits here. Not seeing any, though. Not seeing... Oh, there we go. There's one. All right. Let's be a little sneaky about this, though. No need to rush. No need to rush. We're, we're good. Nice. What a sniper. Awesome. All right, let's run him back. I'm also going to go ahead and make a coffee as well. It's never good traveling without at least one coffee on you. Um, so we'll go ahead and take that lesson, make a coffee. Um, do the lowest condition. Okay. Three pounds. Awesome. You love to see that. That's great. Okay. Um, that's good. Our coffee didn't burn. <laughs> go ahead and take that out. Put that rabbit on. It's 11 minutes there. That's awesome. Both of those are hot. Very nice. Um, we're only going down to the fishing cabins, so in theory it shouldn't be too bad of a walk, but we'll make some buffs anyway. Look at this weather, guys. Oh my gosh. What crazy weather. Crazy good, I should say. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. All right. Well, we're going to want to act on this pretty soon. So let's go ahead and start taking some uh, some torches off. We're nice and warm, so that's always a blessing. Wind's kicking up a little bit, it seems, but I think we can get a good jump on some mileage here before the weather blows our torch torches uh, out here. Put those out. Awesome. We'll do have an hour. I'm, I'm kind of hoping it gets a little foggy, to be honest. Because um, if it does get foggy, then, you know, we can travel with at least a little bit more comfort in the weather. Yeah, but it does look like it's going to... It's going to start, uh, you know, getting a little windy. So let's go ahead and, and make a move on here. Now, the fishing cabins are tricky. They are very tricky. Um, we got to pick up the pelts before we do anything. All right, there we go. Don't be windy. All right, it's a little breezy. A little breezy. But we're good. Definitely uh, ideal situation. So, yeah, we're going to go for the fishing huts. Hopefully, we have to pray that there's a heavy hammer. We have to. I mean, if there's no heavy hammer, I, I really don't know what to do. We're going to have to go to Quonset and look for one there. And if there's not one there, then, yeah, it, it's going to be it's gonna be harsh, to say the least. Very harsh. So we'll go ahead, get up this rock. Some nice high ground, right? You know, it's always good. All right, so this is called Bear Creek. Oh, it's fogging over. No way. Oh my gosh, guys. Hey, I mean, beggars can't be choosers, but beggars can be uh, hopers, I guess, right? <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and take this with uh, with a big smile on our face. Very nice. Um, are we looking for temperature? 24? A dream. Very much a dream. Alright, so I'm breaking out this, this walk again. 
Um, there likes to be bears and wolves around here, so if not, not better reasoning for this, I don't know what is. We'll go ahead and take our time, though. There's no rush. There's no rush. We're pretty warm. Um, we have plenty of energy, so if we have to sprint away, we can. Got plenty of temperature. Probably drink a buff here in a second. Drink a tea. Um, I do like cutting, uh, cutting through inland here. Okay, good. That's the house right there. And there's the bear. Even better. Good. Good, good, good. So we have eyes on the bear. We know where he is. We know where he's hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and actually drink, I think, a tea. Do that quickly. Great. Alright. So this is good. We know where the bear is. We can kind of take it easy, because if there's any wolves nearby, they are probably scared of the bear. So no need to really, to really worry. Oh, he's close. He's, he's a lot closer than I thought he was. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just uh, work our way up the hill here. Let's try not to get him too close to us, because that's not good, obviously. He can do some damage if, if he gets a hold of us. He can do major damage, so we're going to try to uh, avoid that. Ooh, is that a maple? Oh, guys, that is a maple. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's just be a little wary still. Be a little wary, but yes, let's grab these two. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, my gosh. And we have the high ground, too. Yeah, take these two. No shame in taking two maples, even though you really need one, but it's okay. He sounds like he's on our tail, but I don't think he is. I think he's rather farther back. But there's a deer over there. That doesn't really give me much comfort. It just says that, you know, there's a deer over there. If there was a deer a little bit closer to the fishing huts, then uh, maybe we could have gotten away with no wolves. But I think either way, we're going to be dealing with some wolves down here. Let's go ahead and replace our torch. We're going to want to make a little bit more distance between us and the bear. I'm not really comfortable with this amount of distance. He's probably coming down the way here. So let's go ahead and get down here before he does. Ooh, that, that was a long fall. I got to be more careful of that. All right, guys. This is good positioning. I'm liking this. Um, we just have to be careful. Like I've been saying, it's got to be careful. We're going to check for a heavy hammer, too. Um, there has to be a heavy hammer here. There has to be. If there's not, um, I'm really going to lose hope. Sticks. Oh, guys, there's the heavy hammer. Oh, my gosh. Man, I, I should have named this episode Luck. Oh, my. All right, so this cabin's burnt down. That's not going to do us any good. I'm running. I'm scared. I want my mommy. There we go. We're fine. We're okay. All right. Cool. Awesome. You love to be here, you know, especially when you're actually in the fishing huts and not, uh, or the fishing cabins rather, and not outside. It's a great place to be. A little tricky though. It's a little tricky as we saw coming in, but it's awesome. All right. Cool. Really cool. So now that we're here, oh, dog food. Very nice. And a hook. I saw that. Corner of my eye. But now that we're here, um, you know, I probably didn't need to take the buff. But guys, the heavy hammer. Oh my gosh. What a spot. What a place to be, man. Uh, let's just pray there's no wolves out here. It's clearing up, though. I do like that. So yeah, I think next stop after this, after these fishing huts, is Jackrabbit Island. Definitely. Gonna want to get some rabbits going. We could honestly put down some snares as well, but obviously we gotta harvest the rabbits first and get their guts, because that's how you make snares. Um, so yeah, we do have a few few things to do before then. Okay, cool. Food supplies looking a little better. Not great, but it's looking a little better. Um, a lot of this food just kind of sucks, <laughs> to be honest. Let's go ahead and eat that, and we'll go ahead and drink that. A little bit. Alright. If you wonder why I drink a little bit of water and not the full thing, it's because um I want some room for my for my teas in case I have to drink them if we're cold. So we kinda maximize um 
our usage there for the T. Um, alright. Just on the surface. Doesn't look like there's a ton in here, but as there wouldn't be. I mean, it's dead man. Whoa. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. That's awesome. So, we have this all searched out. I think we're going to go ahead. I'm going to drop the torch, replace it with a good one. I don't really want to be stressing about our torch while we're dealing with wolves. And I think what we're going to do, first of all, we'll head out here. We're going to stay crouched basically the entire time. Survey the land. All right. Nothing too bad. There's a wolf right there. He sees us, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. All right. I understand. I get you. So I wanted, what I wanted to do was I wanted to throw a rock away just to lure anything in the area away from us. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's the case. We're going to break down just something real quick just to get him to reset. Um, could even break this down as well. Yeah, I think once we get out there, we're going to throw a rock immediately. We'll drop our torch, throw a rock, see what happens. Hopefully he's not outside. If he's outside, I'm going to cry. Oh, the, but the bear's right there, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, well, hey, that's that's a thing. That's, it's not a wolf, so... Go ahead and, and lure him that way. It's much better to deal with a bear than a wolf, I would say. Um, but either way, you gotta be careful, right? You gotta be careful. So what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna start sneaking around this side, I think. It's super foggy, which is super unfortunate. Um, it's probably not the right time to go. But, I don't know. I mean, you might as well. Uh, I'm gonna get these rocks, and we're gonna throw more. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw some more. We are very dangerously close to this bear right now. Throw one that way. Alright. Alright. It does look like they fixed the bear glitch, though, with the bear taking wide turns, so that's good. Um, it was definitely a little immersion-breaking to have that happen all the time. So, very happy about that. I'll go ahead and get ready to throw another rock here. Second. Do that right now before he turns around. Alright, launch on that way. Uh, let's go ahead and replace our torch, too, while we're at it. Alright, so the bear should be out of the detection range. I'm not going to stand up. I'm not going to dare to stand up. At least fully. But we're going to take this. There should be a fishing hut around here, though. He's coming this way. He didn't hear the other rock, I don't think, so. Let's go ahead and fix that. I just want him away. I just want him away. Anywhere but here, as they say. Okay, good. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Um, yeah. I know I said no more pictures, but I can't resist, alright? Alright, so that wolf got scared by the bear. As he should. The bear... The bear rules. Oh, shoot, man. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Throw one that way. Bear is still over there. He's actually going back to where he came from. Oh, whoops. All right, all right, that's fine. We still got this. Oh, the bear saw me, really. That's kind of funny, I guess. A little unfortunate, but we're just gonna stay in this fishing hut. I'm not gonna go outside. <laughs> I'm not, I ain't doing it. Um, I don't think the bear, it's nice we have a door on this one. I think what we're gonna do is, let's see, it's almost nighttime. I might store the fire here. I don't know. Probably could. Probably could. Probably a smart thing to do, too. How much fire would we have? Uh, yeah, 52 sticks. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to wait until it gets not foggy. You know, it's uh, it's always unfortunate when you have to travel on ice and you can't see what you're doing. It's never good. It's never good. So let's go ahead and do that. We got a bear nearby, though. I think I can hear him. But he should be minding his own business. I don't hear any mad sounds or anything. Build fire attempt, really. Alright, well, we'll keep going. Five tinder left. We need to fix that. Most definitely. We need to fix it. 
I think Jackrabbit Island, that cabin should have a little bit of tinder for us. If not, we can always break down <laughs> some of our many, many sticks. That shouldn't be a problem. Bonfire. There we go. Very good. All right. Break that down. Um, is there a bear around here? I'm not even going to check. I'm just going to stay in here. Be nice and cozy, right? Okay. That's an hour. We can really just do whatever we want with this hour. Um, I think what I'm going to do first is break down the torches into sticks. That way we can get a little bit lighter. Nice. Do that again. We'll put down our buffs as well. That's really important. Can't forget that. In case we get blizzarded. Blizzarded in, I guess you could say. Wolf is still... Still agitated, so... Bear must be around, still. Alright. Put that there. Um, I might just make an herbal tea. It really does us nothing, just sitting our in our inventory. We can't even use it. So, let's just go ahead and do that. Once it gets a little bit clearer outside, I'll open the door and take a peek. But until then, we're staying in here. Two minutes, seven minutes, that's fine. Um, how are we looking for weight? 75? Yeah, I'm not going to make any more water. So we can pocket that. Everything else looks pretty taken up. Uh, if we wanted to go fishing, we could. Actually, no, we can't. We don't have a fishing tackle. What am I saying? What am I saying? Alright, that's almost done. 30 minutes. That's cool. Throw a stick on. Anything in the immediate vicinity we gotta be worried about? Doesn't look like it, but we'll stay in here anyway. Alright, so... Yeah, anything uh, Tinder-wise we can do. Or work-wise, let's do 15 minutes of that. That's good. Alright. 20 minutes on that. I'm gonna go ahead and drink a little water. Not gonna drink it all, because I want to leave some room for our teas in case we need them. Uh, we'll do another 15 minutes. That'll leave us with about 3 or 4 minutes on the fire. 3 minutes, perfect. Oh, nice, it cleared up. Cool. And I think that's our cue to go. Go ahead and leave us with a nice even 50. Uh, I just want to go out here and, and see what we're dealing with. Okay, no puppies out here. We're good. Awesome, you love to see it. Alright, let's go ahead and press on towards... The... Jackrabbit Island. That's good. You love to see that, you really do. Nice day out here on the ice. Very nice evening. Uh, tw yeah, it's 29 degrees. Can't get any better than that. I mean, it, it can get better, but, you know. Beggars can't be choosers, unfortunately. Yeah, this is super cool. This is super great. I love this. And there's a deer over there as well. I'm not seeing any wolves over there. Over there is usually a wolf spawn area. That's awesome, though. I think once we get up to the to the um, Jackrabbit Island house, I think we're going to want to get some rabbits. We'll get as many as we can. Um, we sure have the temperature for it, so we might as well just act on it while we can. I have a feeling there's not going to be much in here. Yeah. Not much. Not much. It makes that one uh, fishing hut we found in Mystery Lake pretty, uh, pretty top-tier fishing hut. It had like a sewing kit, a piece of cloth, like everything. It had everything in there. Um, okay. We're gonna go up kind of the front way here. Usually the way to get more rabbits. Hopefully this deer doesn't run that way. Um, if, if this deer was smart, she wouldn't. Eh, she's doing it anyway. Alright. Have fun with that over there. Let me know how that works out for you. It looks like it worked out alright. I'd be... I'll, uh, I'll admit... Yeah, the direction of the wolf is never usually the smart way to go, but whatever. All right, so we do have such a nice evening. Oh my gosh. Such a nice evening. Can't get better than this, right? Just can't get better. All right, let's go ahead and keep an eye out for some rabbits. There's one. Is there another one here? Looks like just one for now. I bet there's more up there, though. 
Look at that rabbit. Oh, I think I hear someone. Trust me, sir, you don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's drop the torch. We'll take our one rock. We're going to want to use this rock pretty wise. Hey, two rabbits. All right, that's, my, that's more my language. Nice. That rock is in oblivion now. All right, let's drop it. Um, usually wolves can get pretty close to this island. I've even seen some on this island, so we're going to want to be really careful. Love to find that rock, though. That rock would be awesome to have back. Oh, nice. There's a rock. This is a good beachcombing spot as well. Might even take a peek. Maybe we can get lucky and find a fish, right, on the coastline. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, beachcombing, uh... Each coming 101 here, guys. There you go. And cattails. Awesome. Uh, what are we looking at for clothing, though? Whoops. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass on that hat. Whoops. Go ahead and throw that down. Yeah, beachcombing is a very, very useful mechanic in the game. I heard they're going to overhaul it pretty soon. That could be that could be myth or, or uh, truth, but... I heard they are fixing the beachcombing system, which is cool, which is cool. I mean, fixing any existing system is going to obviously bring some unprecedented change, but I feel like it could be good change. I feel like a lot of things in the long dark they change are for the better. Um, so that's great. Let's go ahead and get this unsuspecting fellow. Nice. Thank you for your contribution. It's always appreciated. Um, but we're going to want to move, like I said. Where's the rock? Oh, look at this poor rabbit. Didn't even decide to run. It's crazy. Dedication to his territory. I like it. Hi, rabbit. Ooh, you hate to see it. Thank you again, sir. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and just put all of our rabbits in one area. Um, no doubt we're attracting some wolves with that. Look at the rock rolling down the hill. We're not going anywhere, sir. Okay. Yeah, and it's getting a little windy, too. Getting a little windy. So this is just to put all the rabbits in one general area. Um, I don't think the wolves are going to be able to get it, but we'll see, I guess, right? Um, I'd really like it, too, if this torch could stay alive until we uh, get into the house. I'd really like that. Get some search light, you know? Come on. There we are. Okay. Sometimes there's a wolf. Sometimes. Alright, let's just get in before the torch goes out. Cool. Awesome, guys. There we have it. Marine flare. Hey, that's interesting. I'm actually going to go ahead and put the marine flare back in here, because we're not going to... Not going to... Uh... Oh, what is it? Bleak Inlet or Black Rock anytime soon. Let's go ahead and throw this torch down. Now, I think there's a bedroll spawn in here. I would really love it if there's a bedroll in here. That would make the run infinitely times easier. We'll have to see around this corner. I think the, the spawn location is around here. Um, but yeah, let's just search the cabinets. Whoops. A little weird glitch there, but... I'm sure they're on it. Alright, well, that's good. Drink a little water before we... Lose any more condition points. Great. I'll even take that back and break it down. See, Dead Man's all about being efficient, you know? If you're not efficient, unfortunately, uh, the lack of resources is going to catch up to you. So anytime you can break down a torch for sticks or anytime you can, you know, break down a clothing item for cloth, maybe, if you're in a very cloth lack lacking area, I guess, you you're going to want to do it, you know? Or else it's going <laughs> to perhaps come to, come to get you. So... There's a, one of many tips for Dead Man if you want to play. Any bedroll? No. Unfortunate. Although I haven't seen a metal container there before, so that's pretty interesting. It's nice to see new uh, new items in different places. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> be awesome if there's a bedroll in there, huh? That'd be cool. But yeah, no bedroll, huh? That's unfortunate. I think our next bedroll shot is either... Maybe the cave in Crumbling Highway? I think we're going to take that route anyway. We're going to go along the ice. 
just to check. And it's a, it's a little safer too. And I think um, Hibernia and Desolation Point can also have a bedroll. Same with maybe the Stone Church. I think those are two common spawn locations. So we're going to be checking both of them. Definitely. All right, that seems it for this house. Um, we'll go outside and start a fire. Ooh. I don't like that, though. Yikes. I don't, I don't like doing that. Let's do it on the back side here. I'm going to throw my torch down and replace it. Great. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this, this going here. 61 sticks. What a beautiful... Beautiful number of sticks. Oh my gosh. And there's there's another one laying right down there on the top right. It, it's trying to hide between some tall grass. Thinks I can't see it, but I'm going to pick it up too. That's awesome, guys. Ugh. Really just splendid. Splendid, splendid. All right, let's go ahead and just put on some sticks. Nothing too crazy at the moment. All right. I'm going to go ahead and eat a cattail. Maybe not yet. Maybe right now, actually. Um, maybe I should have tucked this fire more back here in this area. Um, that's a little unfortunate, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Deal with our consequences here. Um, put in a few more. I'm actually gonna take a 30%. I'm just gonna take a torch just in case we happen to encounter a wolf. I'm not gonna try to 1v1 him without a, uh, a torch. Um, this torch very well might go out, though, so. Yeah, if it does live and learn, right? All right, come on, run it back. Oh my gosh, these rabbits are so heavy. Why are these rabbits like cinder blocks? Gotta get ready to drop them immediately. Okay, great, that's good. We did that pretty good, pretty well. I didn't want to throw that, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and put in some more wood. That's awesome. Um, I'll go ahead and do 19. 19 minutes is pretty fair. We do have to be careful, though, of our stamina. Or our energy, rather. A little unfortunate. Might even just drink a coffee. It's a real waste, I tell you. It's a really, really big waste, but... What can you do? Um, actually, I, I know what you can do. Alright, we're gonna stoke it all the way up. Oh, come on, rabbit carcass. The reason I picked you up was to get you away from the meat there. Okay. Let's go ahead. Put that in there. I'm going to run in and sleep. I'm going to sleep an hour. It's crazy. I know. It's crazy. But that's that's why I put... Oh, I didn't mean to eat those. Oh my gosh, we're going to get food poisoning. Oh, we didn't. I didn't mean to eat those, though. <laughs> I didn't mean to eat those. Unfortunate, but it worked out, I guess, right? It worked out. All right, let's just pray our fire didn't go out. If it went out, that's fine, but... All right, let's leave. Oh, nice. And it's not burnt either. Oh, what a what a big brain move that was, I must say. I don't give myself credit very often, but that was an absolutely credit-worthy uh, thing. Um, where's our other pot? Where did our other pot go? Oh no. You know what I did with it? Oh my gosh. That, this is what I totally did. In the ravine when we had that little pot mix up, I accidentally selected my pot instead of eating, um, or was it eating a cattail or selecting a torch or something? Instead of doing that, I accidentally equipped the pot and I think I placed it down somewhere. So anytime we're back in ravine, we'll have to, um, we'll have to go check and see if we can grab our pot. That's embarrassing, but that's kind of funny though. That is kind of funny. 19 minutes, let's do it. So we should be able to cook it. Hopefully the fire doesn't go out. I don't know. Um, seven minutes, I'm not going to do that. We'll put the seven minute one there. Rabbit carcass out of here, please. Put that one there. I'm, I'm going to try not to move around a ton. I don't know where this is coming from. Oh, this is coming from that direction. Yeah, our fire is screwed. For sure. All right, seven minutes. We'll do eight minutes on that. Let's see if the light from our fire dims at all. It could be a GG's for our fire though. No, it's not. Nice. 
Love to see that. Okay. Try not to move around a ton. 18, 19, awesome. 13 minutes for that. Oh, it works out perfectly sometimes. How's our fire not out? Really? How the heck is that a thing? But, okay. Put that on. No doubt. Um, anything else? Just take a little inventory. Uh, rose hip tea would be good, but don't really need it right now. Awesome. That's really good stuff. You really love to see it. Go ahead and drink a little bit of that. 22 minutes on that. 22 on that. That's really awesome. Um, 30 minutes. Ooh, 40 minutes for that. Yikes. Uh, we can, do, we can do 30 minutes for a gut. I think that's reasonable. We'll have enough, uh, enough energy to get back into bed there without taking damage. And we'll eat that. How many torches do we have? Probably should take, take a little bit of count here. Okay. Not as much as I'd like. So, let's go ahead and put six of the sticks on. We'll go ahead and take, uh, six out. It's number two. Number three... Get this pot back before we forget. Number three. Awesome. Number four. Cool. Number five. Excellent. And number six. Very nice. Uh, let's grab all these and go in immediately. All right. We should be fine for, for energy. We have plenty of energy to make it back to the bed. I'm just going to go over here and put down basically everything that needs to be cured. All that, and the maple saplings too, guys. Awesome. Let's go. Very good place to be. Very good place to be. Then we'll walk it back to the bed here. Amazing. All right. Cool. So, you still have to find another beard lichen. Um, there should be one on the trees down where we were getting the rabbits at. I'm not too concerned about it, but let's just go ahead and put in a sleep. Oh, I mean, tell you what. Such a deserving sleep this is. So good. So good. This was such a good episode of progression, I must say. And this was really, really something. Um, so we'll keep sleeping through the night here. Uh, what are we carrying right now? I think we just have the rabbits on us, which I think we're going to drop just right here anyway. Yeah, we do. Yeah, let's drop them all. All right, let's go ahead and put in another three hours. Got to play it safe, you know? I don't trust anything. I don't trust anything, especially on Dead Man. That's a big no-no, trusting things. <laughs> so, um, nope. There we go. We're running a little low on water, too, surprisingly. I don't think we took the toilet water from in there. We'll have to check in the morning. Um, yeah, we'll have to check in the, in the AM. Um, okay. Three more hours. Seems like it would do it. Once it becomes bright, I'm going to see if we took the toilet water. I don't know if we did. I think we might have. But it doesn't hurt to double check. It's literally right over there. Um, do one more hour just so we can see. Just so we can see what we're doing. Nice. And we got a blizzard outside, which is even better. That's great. Okay, yeah, we did take the toilet water. I see. I understand. Okay. Well, that's good. We'll go ahead and put in... Probably three more hours. I think that'll take us up to full energy. And then I think we're going to call it an episode. It's been a little over an hour on my timer here, so. All right. Should take us up. Unless it was just... That, was that just a windy morning? It might have just been a windy morning. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be something we'll investigate next episode. Oh my gosh, what an episode of progression. Like I said, it's just, it was just awesome. We were really efficient. Um, we really took advantage of the resources we got. Um, we got the rabbits, we got the deer carcass. It was really good. It was really good. If we want to survive in dead man, we have to have episodes exactly like this one. It, just really good. Um, that's how you survive. That's how it's done, you know? So, all right. If you made it this far, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you all in the next episode.